Hi friends, we will create a pandas data frame by using a dictionary and uh, from that data frame we will create, create a set of HTML tags or HTML table by using two HTML method. Now this data frame we can create from a dictionary and subsequently we will use MySQL data to create the data frame and we will move from Excel to data frame and again from CSV file to a data frame and finally we will create the HTML table. We will see that. Now here is a dictionary. I just have uh, one four columns are there. Now using this dictionary we will create one data frame. Data frame this is equal to pd dot data frame now here the data is coming from dictionary so I am selling dict my dict is here now the data frame is ready now we can just see the data frame so here it is okay so now instead of uh, from this we'll create one uh, two HTML two HTML means this will create a all HTML tags to display a table now let's run this and see how the tags are. You can see all the tags are displayed with a inside a table. So directly we can generate that. Now instead of that, what you will do, we will create the tag, uh, this uh, tags, we will save it in a HTML file and open it in a browser. That way we can clearly see the table. So for that we will set the path now. We are giving in a my data we are inside d drive my data is my directory name so now i am telling my html dot html this is my file name i am giving so from to this file i will be created once this uh, code is executed let's run this and then we'll yeah so now we'll open it go to a browser it is already i have seen d my data my html file it's pointed now i'm refreshing this you can see this is the directory what I have or sorry the data frame data whatever we have uh, taken and now it is coming as a HTML page instead of writing all the columns let's write that we'll take columns two columns only so we'll say ID we have to create a list here ID and uh, let's say name only these two will take it so uh, this is the list now let's run this and go to our browser and refresh this. You can see only ID and name. You can also see that there is a index column is added to the left of it. Now that we will remove it. What you will say, we will say index equal to false. Index by default it is true. So we will say false. Now I am running this let's go to the browser refresh this you can see the index has gone now let's come back here now we'll say you can justify it also column now we'll let us give column space we'll remove let's go for all the columns and give column space equal to let's say 20 now I am saved this again running it now let me go to the browser refresh this you can see the space is increased this is now given 20 now let me give it bit more 80 now let me run this once go here refresh you can see this width has gone up now this is the default width it will take it up so by, based on that it will expand now like that me there are many other options we'll try one or two more we can align the columns to left right or center by giving justify so justify equal to let's give uh, right so i can delete uh, index is false so i can so you have given justify is called right now let's uh, run this and we'll go to our browser so now you can see text will be okay right aligned now index has come up and text is right now we'll go for uh, taking data from a mysql table and uh, display it in a html table this is my uh, connection engine or SQL Chemi connection engine to MySQL database. So here inside this my sample table is there. I'll create a SQL now. Write it select star 
from student student is my table name around 35 to 40 records are there i'll just collect not all the records uh, let me collect five records only 0 to 5 so five records i will i'll be creating now i will use this to create my data frame so i'll say pd now read sql now this will take two inputs one is my query first then my connection so this would now my data frame is ready now what i will do i, I can just uh, check it here also i will just scroll up a bit uh, let me just run this and see my data frame yeah it is there so all the i am getting five records from my student table so now instead of uh, displaying it here let me copy this line i will just create the table html page i will create now this all this stuff i will remove my html page will be using this data frame which in turn has taken data from my sample student table this html page will be created now let me run this once yeah now i will go to browser and see the output you can see i have displayed five records taking data from my student table i can slightly change this also i i want more records so i can put it 10 so run it once then go to my browser refresh it i'll get 10 records now this is how i will get it from mysql now we'll try to collect data from excel and then from a csv file and display the same thing now we'll read from a excel table we'll scroll down okay now i will create a data frame by reading from a excel page so we'll say pd now we'll say read excel now this excel file is located at the same uh, directory so i will say d colon now my data my data is the directory name now the file name is student dot xls so okay so this is my file where i have uh, i think a lot of records are there let's see let's collect this and but what i will do instead of reading this i will write this line this line will read the sorry it will create the HTML file for me. So let's run this. Fine, this has run. Now let me go there to browser, refresh this. You can see a big file. There are around 40 records or 50 records, that's all. So this is how we can take the same data from Excel file and use it. Now instead of Excel, I can use a CSV also. In that directory, another file is there, so student CSV. So this now I will get the csv data and display it so let me just run this once fine let me go here refresh it yeah this is the only four records are there this is my csv file data i have taken and generated the html page